Welcome to Rouse Flybox. Today we're going to tie the yellow dog. Yellow dog is a streamer pattern of mine that uh, has become a, one of my personal favorites. It, um, I, it, it's akin to the, the gold flash on a CP swing in my opinion. Uh, with streamers, aside from the profile, what I find is, I learned this early on, it, it, it's the color and the flash. Certain days uh, a blue and black with silver flash streamer will work. Other days an orange flash streamer will work or copper. Uh, and then there's days when yellow works. And they won't take anything but a streamer with a little gold or yellow in it. That's when this streamer shines, when it's a yellow day. Uh, that might sound like I'm oversimplifying things, but uh, I believe if they're, if they're willing to take a feather wing streamer, the only the last thing you have to figure out is do they want a silver one or do they want a gold one so let's go over how we tie my version of a a yellow themed feather wing pattern I start out with a, a Dick Tallure 7x long thread or a size 6 hook and black 6 aught uni thread I work my thread base back and at the tail end I tie in gold tinsel, small gold tinsel. And I only tie it in to the tip of the hook Then I stop. It's going to extend past that but you'll see why after I'm done. And then I bring my thread back to the front. And I bring it just past the step in the in the hook. It's a it's a loop bend hook. This point I tie in yellow floss. I secure it, and then I trim off the excess. And then to get this out of the way at this point I put a wood finish in and I leave it. We don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Then we're going to bring our yellow floss back. I don't sweat the first pass. I don't want to build any lumps. I also don't want to skip it <laughs> like I just did. first pass I'm building a base I don't care if it separates too much that's getting a little bit much because I'm coming back over it with a fine pass and it will eventually bring itself together I bring it back to the end of my thread and then I bring it forward on this pass I pay a little bit more attention try and keep it as level as possible it starts to separate I give a few more twists to it A nice level base, nice even body. And I'm going to bring our body. 
body all the way to the front. bring it up. Now I'm not going to take it all the way to the head. I'm going to bring it about one turn short. And I'm going to tie it off. At this point, we're going to take our tinsel and we're going to start our tinsel wrapping to the rear first. I'm going to bring my tinsel all the way around on this hook until I reach that drop in the bend. about there and then I'm going to bring it back forward keep it a nice even tag try to avoid any bumps folds in the tinsel and I'm going to start right into the body Place based wraps. And if tinsel does that to you, like it can, <laughs> start over. broke on me that time. And bring it right up to the back. And again, tie off. And at this point again, on my streamers, you'll see I do this quite a bit. I just put a quick whip finish in. Lock everything in place. few more flyers than I want in that. Okay. With the body finished, next you're going to tie in your throat. I use red tippet. I take the center piece of red tippet. I tie it in even with the second black band. You see that second black band there?
And again, I bring it up underneath. Even with that second band. And I tie it in. And trim your butts. I don't like it to splay out too much. I like to keep it close to the body. And next you're going to tie in a small section of red bucktail. I cut off a section that's considerably larger than I want. I'll cut off a decent sized section. And I'm going to manually stack it. And I'm going to take out all my flyers and my shorts. And if I got one that's a little bit too twisted, take that out too. And when I get it right about down to where I want it, I'll take a, about a half or a third more out. Once I got it stacked to where I want it. I've learned that my eye on streamers will overdo it just a little bit. And at this point you're going to tie it in with the bucktail slightly extended past the bend of the hook. Just slightly. Measure it, trim the butts, and give a pinch wrap. Put about two or three wraps in there, make sure it's where I want it. Keep it tight to the body. And then once it's in there, on this one I take one additional step. A whip finish. And I'm going to give a dab of head cement. Next material we're going to tie in is yellow dyed pheasant tail. I'm going to strip off about four, between four and six. I don't count them. I know what it should look like. And I'm going to strip off a section of pheasant tail fibers and then without trimming them necessarily. I want to tie them in at length. They seem to be about the right length for this size hook. That's why I'm doing that. If you were changing you might have to trim them if you were tying on a smaller hook or make sure you got pheasant tail that fits for a larger hook. I'm going to bring them back. Keep them flush with the hook as well. I don't want them too splayed out. Give a few firm wraps. And then again, quick whip finish. And another small dab of head cement. Now when that dab of head cement is drying off, we're going to build our wings. Now I'm only going to build one just for time's sake, but I'm going to show you basic steps on how I build them. I, it's very simple. Uh, when I'm building a lot of these, I'm tying a bunch of them up for an order for somebody or just filling my box. I'll do the wings in advance. I take a yellow dyed Brahma feather. I strip the quills to match two of them. And then I take the shoulder of a yellow dyed Indian neck 
and I trim these two evenly matched ones. I trim them individually or together so that they match. And they're prepped. All the loose quills, all the soft uh, quill is removed. And I take Sally Hansen's and I put a dab of Sally Hansen's on about a quarter inch just short, just above the end of the quill or where the quill starts where the, qu where the strips quill starts and before that can dry I line the Indian head up quill to quill and I keep the center line of the quills together and I give a light pinch on this on the quill. I want the quills to stick together a little bit. And then I sweep the fibers slightly forward. A little bit. And once that's dry, or holding anyway, I take the Sally Hansons, I apply a dab to the top, just a dab, and a dab to the bottom. They soak through and meet. And when I know they're not going to slip at this point, I sweep the fibers tightly forward on the shoulder there again, and I lay them down to dry, and then I would start the next one. I've already got the first one, so while that one's drying, we'll tie in the first one. Here's the finished product. I leave the quills long for control at the end. I'm going to tie the first one in. I bring the end of the quill to my head. I'm going to have a little bit of head underneath. And I'll tie that in. It's going to be curved slightly around, slightly towards the end there. And then we'll take the one we just glued. Hopefully it stays together and we have a lot of time there to demonstrate. I'll match the ends. Hold it in place. And bind that in. Once they're both in place where I need them, I trim the butts. This point, I make sure I got them lined up where I want them. Pinch them together and build my head, bringing the taper down to cover up the quill end. Quick, quick finish. And there we go. And there it is. The yellow dog. You can see the throat underneath. When this gets wet, the body and the palm ring shine through. I put two coats of Sally Hansen's on the head. We'll go ahead and put one on now. I brush it on and turn it to get it to dry evenly. And I turn it in my vise for a couple minutes or a couple seconds while I'm letting it dry. A little bit of fly of a flyer on that one wing. That's not a big deal when it gets wet. You'll never see that. These flyers right here and spreads. You can't control all the fibers. 
uh, on the ends, but it uh, when it gets wet, it'll it'll mat evenly. As long as you've gotten your wings lined up, everything will work fine. And I turn that until that's dry. I'll let it sit and harden, and then I'll put a second coat on. But there it is, the yellow dog. On those days when they're looking for a gold or yellow streamer, this streamer does exceptionally well. I hope it adds to your box. Thank you. See you on the water.